So there are four vocabulary words that we're going to want to know about in uh, Unit 5-6 of Everyday Math, uh, Exploring Estimates and Polygons. The first word is cube, okay, and these are words that most of the kiddos have heard before. This is a cube, okay, uh, so far to them it's represented just one. Um, the next word is long, okay, and this is a long. A long is actually 10 cubes. Okay, the next word is a flat. And a flat is 10 longs, or 100 cubes. Okay, so we'll zoom out a little bit so you can see that. And then we have a big cube. And the big cube is this here. And it's actually 10 flats. Okay, so if you counted, there would be 10 up the side here, and it's 10 flats tall, or 1,000 cubes, okay, that would go into this big cube. Um, so that's the vocabulary that we're going to be studying in this unit. Uh, also, the key, key things that we're going to be doing in this unit that we want kids to be able to do, we want them to be able to use multiples of 10, to be able to count a large quality quantity of base 10 blocks. So if we had a pile of blocks here, we want kids to be able to count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and know that there are 70 blocks here. Okay, we want them to be able to compare and order whole numbers. So, for example, if we have a whole bunch of numbers, if we have 70, 42, 63, we would want the kids to be able to put those in order from smallest to largest or largest to smallest, so they'd say 42, 63, 70, okay? Um, the other thing that we want them to be able to do is draw points by connecting line segments. So um, if we have, uh, connect points by drawing line segments, if we have some points here, we want kiddos to be able to take a ruler or another sort of straight edge and connect the points, just like this, so that it creates um, a shape that's closed in, known as a polygon, um, and then we want them to be able to identify po those polygons, identify those shapes within a design. Um, there are a number of ways that you can practice this at home, okay, uh, any activity that you can do to have kiddos counting by 10. Uh, pull some dimes out of your pocket, um, just anything that you that you could do to have kids counting counting by ten um, will will be very helpful for them. Uh, or just use just use any type of any type of counter, uh, and they can just say ten, twenty, thirty, forty um, of those of those things. Or make groups of ten and have them count by the groups. Um, and you can use pretty much anything for that uh, to find the perimeters of polygons. You can have them measure measure around anything. Um, draw, you can draw some things, have them measure it. You could actually even use your table or, uh, you know, um, countertops, anything that you have at home that could be measured. Uh, have kids measure it and um, count, up, count up around the edge of it because this edge, this concept of perimeter is what we're trying to get kids to think about. Also, um, if you've got a whole list of, I don't know, a whole list of numbers that you could give them, have them put them in order somehow, um, whether it's, you know, the house expenses or just some numbers you pull out of your head or, um, you know, things you're keeping track of every day, uh, maybe even grades. Just put it in order from smallest to largest, largest to smallest, and talk about number order. Um, and then just talk about different shapes, different polygons, as we, um, as we call them, but different shapes to see, you know, can they identify squares, can they identify triangles, can they identify octagons or hex hexagons, do they know how many shapes have um, which side? So uh, this is unit 5.6 of everyday math, and these are the <coughs> vocabulary words and key concepts that you want to know and how you can help your kids out at home. Uh, thank you.